Israel's air defenses light the night sky following a Hezbollah rocket barrage early Sunday morning. The fighting comes as Hezbollah continues hitting northern Israel for what the Western-identified terror group says is its support for Palestinians in Gaza after the October 7 Hamas terror attacks on Israel that led to all-out war. While Israel and Hezbollah in Lebanon continue cross-border attacks, civilians seek cover in a bomb shelter in the Israeli city of Haifa. And in recent days, Israeli strikes injured five UN peacekeepers known as UNIFIL in parts of Lebanon, where strikes across the country have killed 1,400 people as of September, according to Lebanon's health ministry. The ministry does not differentiate between Hezbollah fighters and civilians. This is a serious development, and, UN and UNIFIL reiterates that the safety and security of UN personnel and property must be guaranteed and that the inviolability of UN premises must be respected at all times. Israel has made clear in public statements that it's not targeting attacks on the Lebanese people or UNIFIL, but rather Iran-backed Hezbollah. Following news of the injuries to UN peacekeepers, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu both issued an apology and a warning. It is time you take UNIFIL out of Hezbollah's strongholds and combat areas. Your refusal to evacuate UNIFIL soldiers makes them hostages in the hands of Hezbollah. It endangers them as well as our soldiers. Parts of Lebanon have now been reduced to rubble and dust following Israeli strikes, a scene similar to Gaza and one the White House does not want to see repeated. We cannot and will not uh, see Lebanon turn into Gaza, into another Gaza. Uh, that is not what we want to see. Uh, the suffering in both Gaza and Lebanon uh, adds even greater urgency, uh, as you've heard from us, uh, to our efforts uh, certainly to end the conflicts and lay a foundation for lasting peace and security in the region. Meanwhile, Israelis in Tel Aviv took to the streets for their weekly protests against Netanyahu's government on Yom Kippur, the highest of Jewish holidays. They continued demanding a ceasefire to help broker a hostage release deal to free those still held by Hamas in Gaza following the October 7 attacks. Arash Arbasadi, VOA News.